Hello everybody, it is Tuesday, February 25th, 2020, and today I'm going to be taking you along <clears throat> for a little drive along I-66 and we can take a look at the progress on the Transform 66 outside the Beltway project. So if you've seen some of my previous videos, you know that the of the uh, work taking place at the 28 and 66 interchange. We're going to take a look at some of the work on the uh, rest of the project, which has been progressing nicely. <coughs> Very busy work zone during the day. A lot of lane closures and uh, equipment moving around and whatnot. See, they've got some cranes out today working on the 28 bridges. And uh, the, fir the first thing you'll notice is actually this temporary ramp they put in here. They're working on some of the ramp to the right, right here. But um, it's kind of annoying right now because you have to, you're supposed to yield to the traffic on your left, and it's kind of hard to see sometimes because it's coming at you from behind. You kind of just gotta, gotta wing it and whatnot. That's the old one to the right. They've started doing a lot of tree removal, a lot of grading, a lot of utility relocation, and a lot of uh, noise wall installation has taken place over the last couple months. And we'll see some of that today. project is done from University Drive out near Gainesville all the way to all right my apologies my uh, GoPro battery decided to die uh, probably because I haven't recharged it in a long time but anyway Got a new battery in, we're back now. Hopefully this one lasts longer. And we're gonna hop back on the interstate here. Had to pull over to uh, charge and change the battery for a little bit. We're gonna connect back to 66 East now from the Fairfax County Parkway. <clears throat> now known as 286. Actually, on the uh, the bridges that take 66 over the Barracks County Parkway right now, they are doing a partial demolition to widen them. And as I think I was saying before, when this project is all done, extending from University Drive in Gainesville all the way to 495, it is supposed to be two express lanes. So those are the toll lanes and three regular general purpose non-told lanes. So it'll be five lanes wide in total with the median widened and reserved for future transit uses. And that could either include an extension of the Metro Orange Line or some sort of bus rapid transit system. That hasn't been decided on yet but the space will be there should a decision be made in the future. And of course, this project of this size, <clears throat> there's been a lot of noise wall construction, retaining wall, uh, a lot of the bridges over 66 are being 
replaced due to age and they need to be reconfigured and widened to accommodate the wider roadway.
here, this is the Nutley Street interchange. And uh, one thing they did recently here is demolish the uh, bridge that carried Maiden Drive over 66 and the Metro Orange Line tracks. So they decided to completely close that bridge, demolish it, and they're going to build a new one. It's going to take them about, uh, I think, a year to build a new one. You can see it right there. And they've um, completely uh, reconfigured this interchange as well to accommodate that uh, bridge work on this side. Interestingly, not as much work has been happening on this section, the section from Nutley Street to the Beltway, um, as the other sections of 66 um, yet. I, get, I think they're, they're focusing on some other stuff at this point, but I'm sure we'll see some, some work taking place here eventually. I know that they do have some closer to uh, Gallows Road. The Gallows Road Bridge is going to be completely demolished and replaced. And then um, they have some metro uh, equipment that has to be relocated due to widening of the road. So I believe they may try to do some of that work this summer during the Orange Line shutdown where they're going to be uh, rehabilitating the platforms at Vienna, Dunloring, West and East Falls Church, so I think some of the work associated with the toll road will be done during that time as well, because those stations are supposed to be shut down through a big part of the summer. Yeah, you can see some retaining wall work here on the right. Not sure if this bridge is getting replaced or not, but I think it is going to be. Gallows Road Bridge, and um, maybe hard to see, but they have started doing utility relocation for the uh, placement of that bridge. And this is the 495 slash 66 slash 495 express lanes interchange, and then this whole interchange is going to be reworked as well. Um, again, you'll see a bunch of steel pilings sticking out of the ground. I think they said they have like three or four hundred of like a thousand plus steel pilings in the ground that they have to put, eventually put in. So that's exciting. And they have their own uh, concrete plant here as well. You can see one of those, uh, another wall they've started working on right here. Another metro building that might have to be moved. Uh, and that's the extent of the project uh, outside the Beltway. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll post some more updates uh, in the future. Uh, like and subscribe for more. Thanks again.